Hi, Monty McKinnon here. Thank you for joining me. Well, we're moving along on this guitar. This is the Brazilian Rosewood. As you can see, I've put in the armrest already. I've got all the linings in here and we're moving right along. I'll tell you a little bit about these linings in just a minute, but let's spin that intro first and I'll be right back. Okay, we are back, and one of the things I have done already is I've put the radius on the front and the back of the guitar here. And as you know, the guitar will be shaped like this. It's a dome coming this way, and it's a dome going this way. Now, what's important with the radius dish that I have, and I have sandpaper on that, it's a 60 grit, and I use that to put the angle on here so that if you look at this as the side of the guitar and the top is coming down, there's not a really great glue join there. So when you put the angle on here with the radius dish like that and the top comes down, you get a better glue joint and that's really important. So you don't want the top or the back of your guitar coming apart, and it happens, although it can be fixed, not to panic. Anyway, that's how you do this and, and make it work. And this, of course, will be all cut away once we do the armrest. And what I did just because I could is I put together this little jig some time ago, and you've seen me use this before. Well, I hope you're all keeping well. We're looking forward to some warmer weather. It snowed here last night. Can you believe it? It's the end of March and we're still getting snow. I'm done. No more snow. It can snow all at once. I'm not touching it. There you go. Well, there's our top, complete with wax paper. And the reason for the wax paper is so that this glue doesn't go on to the aluminum here and glue this thing to the jig. But that's going to be the top of our guitar. And I can tell you, it's pretty nice. It's real tight grain. And you'll see me run this thing through the sander shortly. And we're all good. Now this is set for a, a dreadnought, which I'm not making. My guitar here is an OM, orchestra model. And so we're going to uh, run that through the sander right now and thin that up. Then I found this, I didn't know I had this. This is really great. I had some extra brace wood already cut. I mean, how good is that? So this will go on to here, form the X brace going across here and a trans brace there and then down in here. So it's all good. We're, we're doing just splendid here. And I'm very happy with the bass wood that is in here. I might cut this back just a little bit more, and I wasn't sure whether or not I should do another sound port. Let me know what you think. I, I'm leaning towards doing another one. Do I do another oval? Do I do a circle? Do I do that geometric pattern that you saw on the maple guitar that everybody seemed to like so much? So I may just do one of those or do none. So tell me what you think I should do and I will let you know how we make out. So this is a quick update. And by the way, special, Leo's did, he went over to his Uncle Pete's office and they had themselves a challenge. And if you haven't seen Leo's video, by all means, it's a beauty. You gotta, you, you won't believe who wins, but you gotta check it out. So look at the link down below to Leo Santarelli and check out his video on his challenge. It's, it's another obstacle course and it's a whole lot of fun. It was a great video. <laughs> And I can't believe who won. I just think that's hilarious. Anyway, check it out. And don't forget to check the other links that are down below. And I'll see you in the next video. <laughs> Goodbye for now. I need some lunch or some tea or something. How about a cookie? How about some chocolate cake? Oh, yeah. 
I think there is some upstairs. I better slip up there right away. See ya. Bye for now.